Hey, welcome back to the farm. Today we're going to discuss the ever thrilling topic of chicken waterers. Which one is right for you? I've tried two different sorts and today we're going to rig up a third. We have about 67 chickens on our property. It's the most chickens we've ever had. And we're trying to make our systems work better. Ease of use and whatnot. So let's talk about the three different types of waterers we have and uh, why I'm switching to what I'm switching to. Okay, for years and years and years, we've used these bell waterers, right? You see them everywhere. Tractor supply, whatever. Little groove in the bottom. They clip in like this, they slide around. Woo. Clip into place. They have to be level or they have to be hanging. The thing I don't like about these, and there's another kind that is even bigger that has a lid that goes on top, and it has a little spout on the bottom. I don't like these for a couple reasons. One, with our chicken tractors, there's nowhere for them to hang because our chicken tractors aren't very tall. Two, if this isn't clipped in just right and there's any air seepage whatsoever, the whole thing leaks. Three, they are not opaque enough to keep algae from growing. And four, when the chickens stand on things, they poop all in these, and it's gross, and I don't like it. Now, when we had our six chickens, they were in a run with a coop above it, so they never left their area, so I didn't have to move it all the time. I could go out there, pull this out, clean it. But we decided we didn't like these, so we switched to one of these. This is a five gallon bucket, and it's got the cups in it with a spring, and when the water hits here, fills it up, boop, shuts the water off. This was much better than the bell waterer, but I ran into a couple issues with this too. And one of them is my own fault. I didn't mount it high enough, so when I went to fill it, the bucket hit the ground. And one of them broke fairly quickly, and you still kind of have to hang this thing or you have to set it up on something. And I didn't like setting it up on something. Whenever I set it up on something, the chickens would knock it over and they'd spill all their water out. So the third one we're gonna to build today, which I've never done before, is a nipple waterer. This is the kit I bought. It's a do-it-yourself kit. The idea is you screw a hole in it, in your bucket, the waterer screws in your bucket, and then the pressure keeps this nipple out so that you don't have any water drip, and then they can tap it so spring loaded. And when they tap it, water comes out. Again, never used one of these. I'm excited to give it a shot. So let's see how it works. Oh, and the kit I bought comes with, I think it was 12 or 15 of those things. Comes with an applicator. Once you drill the hole, this slides over and you can spin it in. And in case you were curious as to what size drill bit you're supposed to use, it came with its own drill bit. So if you ever look at Amazon and its millimeters and all this and that, I think this was 10 bucks. So just buy one with the right size bit. Let's see how this works. I'm curious to see if this one is the same size opening as this that I installed, I don't remember how many years ago now, three or four years ago? It looks very similar. If it is, I'm just gonna stick these in the same hole and then we'll make another bucket. I might switch these over to our uh, little brooder. We're thinking about building a big egg mobile and I wanna try and rig something. You can apparently rig these up with PVC. So I wanna try rigging it with PVC so it goes through the whole length of the Eggmobile, and you can fill it from the outside. But for now, I just need something in place to make my wife's life a little easier as she does chicken chores when I'm at work. They look really close. Ah. Step one drop it. I think it's the same size. Cool, that means uh, this isn't a wasted bucket. I don't know why they sent that. It's not that hard to twist it in with your fingers. 
And considering this is plastic and so is the nut that goes on the back, if you did put a drill in it, I think you'd probably overdo it. What do I know? I'm just a guy in a flannel shirt. One thing I don't know, and I'm guessing we'll find out, is how long it takes the chickens to figure out that this is water. Now, as I'm sure most of you guys know, because I'm sure most of you have chickens, and probably some of you have used the system, chickens peck everything. So, I wouldn't think it would take them very long to peck that and realize there's water. But, who knows? Alright, so we're going to do this one from scratch, and I think we're going to put them up a little higher, even though that's going to ruin how long the five gallon bucket lasts. Let's go get the grill gun. This drill bit's probably the most expensive part of the whole kit. <laughs> Chickens are about yay tall, right? Let's try this dude, Ed. Although, like I said, I don't think it's worth it. Let's see what happens. Well, it didn't strip out, so I guess it'll work. Just make sure that this long part is on the bottom. All right. Let's go check it out. See how it works? It is a gorgeous day here. Today is the first day of my standard four day break in the fire department. And it's the first week of November. Leaves are changing color. The sky is crystal blue. It's just gorgeous. Hope you get a chance to get outside and enjoy some of this weather. All right, let's see if it leaks. not leaking when you tap it water comes out just like it's supposed to super cool let's go to the chicken coop see what happens <laughs> our uh, as we like to call them house chickens which are the ones that are loose are starting to feel really roostery you got your own ladies leave them alone Well, they're already pecking it. All we need now is Pecky, the emotional support chicken. Look at that. They're on it already. Cool. Let's see if the other girls figure it out. Come here. Uh. Looks 
second one of them's already figured it out. But again, no leaks. Hello, Pip. Pip is our mothery chicken. We put her in when they're smaller, she takes care of them. I think they're already figuring it out. Seems like a success. I'll give you a follow up uh, in our live stream. If you haven't had the chance to catch one of our live streams, uh, we try and do them on Monday nights between 8 and 8.30. Uh, come join us, ask some questions, and uh, join the discussion. <laughs> if there's anything you'd like to know, I'd be happy to answer it. But that's a place where we all get together and hang out and just kind of uh, share our thoughts. So, anyways, thanks for joining us. Don't forget, dress for the job you want, and uh, like and subscribe. We'll see you guys next time. Bye. <laughs> Oh.